Hi, I'm Kevin Kozlowski. I'm president of Oval Fire Products, Inc., and I'm also the inventor of the Oval Fire Extinguisher. The Oval Fire Extinguisher was invented to solve a series of problems that I've observed in the construction industry over the years. Uh, one was that you presently cannot put a flush door fire extinguisher cabinet into a standard depth wall framed with 3 and 5 8 or 3 and half inch studs. Uh, so what happens is in a normal depth wall, you either have to go to a semi-recessed cabinet that sticks out one and a half inches to four inches, or you have, if you still want a flush door cabinet, you have to change the wall type to either a six inch stud or an eight inch stud. Uh, that in turn decreases net, uh, net usable and rentable area in the space after you've built it because you made the walls fatter. So I tried to solve the problem of creating an oval cylinder and it's a tricky problem. Uh, you can't take an ordinary metal cylinder and just stamp it into an oval form because if you do and you pressurize it, when it's under pressure, it will deform. Um, a round cylinder is great because it holds itself in tension. So to solve the problem, we had to think about how do you manufacture a, a cylinder differently. Uh, it took about three years. We figured it out. We've got a working prototype here. It's been pressure tested up to 600 pounds of pressure. Uh, the powder flows properly and we're presently trying to bring the product to market. Um, we're in fundraising mode and we hope to have the products to market soon. Um, in the meantime, after I solved this, this flush cabinet issue for standard depth walls, I then realized I solved a major ADA, um, Americans with Disabilities Act, problem. And that is that if you go into big box retail stores, you'll often find that the column mounted fire extinguishers in the center of the store, they actually violate the Americans with Disabilities Act on either one or two separate counts. Um, one is they either stick out too far because they're technically not allowed to stick out more than four inches into a path of travel. Secondly, they're often way too high. Uh, the current ADA standards state that they cannot be mounted higher than 48 inches to the handle. You'll often find them at five feet or higher in big box retail stores. And it's a big, big problem. We have a solution because our cylinder is only three inches wide. And we can mount those on a column and they will project less than four inches into this path of travel. Now, if a store still wants to the, the, the fire extinguishers higher than the shopping carts, um, we have a solution for that as well. We have a specialty hanger that allows you to mount the fire extinguisher high, and you can actually give it a little tug underneath. The fire extinguisher will drop down low to the 48 inches so you can access it and use it. Um, today, we're going to do a mock UL 711 3A fire test uh, for the wood crib test. Now this is a wood crib, it's 29 inches by 29 inches. It's made out of 144 two by twos. And we're going to ignite it, let it burn for about six minutes to eight and a half minutes. And then I'm gonna put out the fire with my fire extinguisher, with the oval fire extinguisher. Um, hopefully everything goes well. And we're gonna be very safe today in this test. I've got some fire rated gloves, uh, wear some eye protection. I'm not wearing full-blown fire garb, and part of the reason is is that when people put fires out, they don't have the, the, the luxury of a, of a lot of safety gear. And I want to show that, that this fire extinguisher can safely put out a fire like you're going to see on film today and uh, do it successfully. And uh, thanks, thanks so much for watching. I want the whole thing. Out. Hi, this is Kevin Kozlowski, president of Oval Fire Products and the inventor of the Oval Fire Extinguisher. 
As you've just witnessed, we've just put out a pretty big fire. It was a mock-up of a UL 7113A fire crib test for a dry chemical five-pound fire extinguisher. Thank you very much for watching. We look forward to serving you soon.